Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing the Manchuko Puppet of Japan. Uh, yes, it is not World War 2 but we are fighting and I have put on the battle plans for Japan just to let you see what our overlord is actually planning and how much troops he's actually keeping in the rear for what purposes who the hell knows when they should be on the front line doing something useful anyway we're on the front line and we're in trouble here um, in between the episodes I've had a look at our disposition of forces and Japanese forces and yes they our front line is like Swiss cheese you could drive tanks through it and nobody would know so uh, we're not going to be doing the offensive that I was planning to, to actually do some surrounds there uh, because we can't afford to do that. Uh, we need to jump on the defensive. We need to rescue our forces here. Um, so I need these back here. I really do. Uh, we can't be uh, losing any troops, to be honest. Um, so uh, it's not going to bode well, this. Um, I'll be able to give one of our generals a inventory trait, so he did have that pending. Um, we can do the business to do with the rifles, so we will do that and like that. Yep, good idea. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for your comments on YouTube, by the way. Uh, always appreciated. Um, so yeah, let's find out. Let's see if we fail miserably at this or not. So we've got troops moving in here, so hopefully we can do something. Oh, and that doesn't help if they are then suffering. Yeah, come on. Get back, quick. Can we get them in there? Just to help out. Because if the Japanese follow on behind us, then we just get overrun. And it looks as if we're going to get overrun. We're going to get overrun. Come on, you can get over that river. Can they? Did they? Did it happen? What happened? Can anybody see what actually happened there? Because all I can see is that they got over the river, but they're now defending. Well, if they're defending, when we may actually stand a chance of doing something here. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, do you know, I have given these troops already some orders to actually move up here I'm not too sure why that's not happened uh, but it, anyway it hasn't um, yeah okay so we are minus uh, political power points here so sending a attache over to France well they're not at war at the moment um, but then that wouldn't really make sense uh, presumably you're on about kind of Vichy France when when it, they become Vichy France and presumably Germany will actually take over uh, and actually invade uh, as well time will actually tell actually because it's coming up to that time so uh, we will find out um, we are doing uh, this particular one at the moment on our national focus so we're developing aluminium resources um, uh, uh, regarding the invite foreign investors um, yeah, we can do the mission to Germany one, um, we can do the Japanese one, um, but because we are fascist, we uh, win. If the requirements for the US, the British cooperation, uh, the reach out to France and the mission to Soviet Union all require that the ruling party for us is non-aligned, but we're fascist, so those are not possible at this stage. Uh, they may be possible in future, um, but at the moment, no, we are fascists, so, um, I mean, we do have, I suppose, uh, a facility later on, becoming whatever we like, if we have got a non-aligned party there, but, uh, and that is him, so I don't know, um, hold on, he's the party leader of both? Oh, that's a bit strange. Okay, <laughs> I can't work that one out. So if we capitulate, uh, or maybe if our overlord actually fails in his mission in China, 
Um, yeah, maybe that does happen. I have no idea. We will find out. Um, whether we survive this episode is another matter. Um, I, I don't hold any hopes out, to be honest. I think this is the end of... Okay, we have actually, because I moved the cavalry over there, that's quite good. That is a good sign. Um, I do need to move these in, though. Um, they are going to be need. Well, at least two of them are going to be needed. Oh, hold on. Could we actually put two there? We could. I think we could. They can get around there. I'll put a cavalry there to start off with to actually stop them. He's going to move in there. So maybe we could actually do that as well. And have them instead go there. Mm, yeah, maybe it would. Might work. Ah. Right, okay. He. That will help. I will take any help at all we can get. He's already got one. Um, so yes. Uh, yeah, let's see how we get on then. Uh, but we're going to have to kind of just have a look at each kind of situation as it's going on uh, and try and move our troops as fast into places as is required. Um, that's a bit heavy there, so we need to move, what, half of them? Um, well, the three are moving there, aren't they? There's going to be two there, so maybe we could have a couple there. And then we just help the Japanese just keep this line because since coming back from the save, um, it tends to be the case that if you come back from a save, your enemy will just naturally try and attack you. Uh, so, yeah, we need to get our coordination back. Our coordination, our organization back. Yeah, we're really coordinated. What the hell is going on there? Please stop doing that, because I will have words with your commander. Okay, well that didn't work, did it? Um, yeah, so they're still on the attack there, so we need to blunt this attack. And we need the Japanese... Ah, now that's more like it. They have obviously heard my pleas in, like, get to here. I, I wonder if we could actually... Once they land there, I wonder if we could actually ping our allies to say, look, that's the important area, do that. That might be worthwhile doing. Maybe. Uh, right, okay. Oh, right, okay. So now we've moved troops around here, they've redistributed their forces here. So that's, well, that's not helpful. Um, I may have to strip some units down here. Uh, yeah, because we're going to have to contain this. I say we're going to have to contain this. I think we are. And I think, yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. We actually do it. So let's move them round there. I mean, in the meantime, if these guys could actually attack... I wonder if that's two units that's moving? Because he's just stationary. Oh, oh, you're sick. What? Seriously? More strikes. We're not going to get any political power ever. We. Okay, I need to move this guy. Just bear with me one second. I am moving troops. Okay, they look as if they've got that, so... We may have averted disaster. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just losing my controls here. Okay, um, I'm going to hold that because we'll just take one to move around there. Because we may have contained that situation. We may need to contain other situations now. Um, like, I don't know. I seriously don't know. I think we're just... Oh, what was that? Poland refused the ultimatum. Okay, so we are going to war then. Um, right. Now this builds two civilian factories, so that's going to be a good thing, right? 
because we've only got one with the strikes going on so if we can get anything back yeah let's do that right they're defending there oh god our guys are attacking I oh, don't like the look of that Wow, well, that was very brave of them because they were defending on both sides there. And we may need one of them to actually come down the line. They're being attacked from two places there at the moment. Okay, German right declared war on Poland. So it is all kicking off in the European continent. So on the European front, can we get anything from Germany? Acceptance not required. Acceptance not required. Um, what? Oh, you're joking. Oh, damn it. Do they not need know that we're in need? Um, will the Italians? They will not accept. Okay, what happens if we went to a neutral country like Soviet Union? Will they do it? Mm, they will not accept. No, because the negatives are completely out of sync. Um, even our overlord, even if... Oops, no, we don't want to start lend lease because we haven't got anything to lend lease. Even they won't accept, so we kind of stuck in a hard place here. We really are. Okay. We will plead our charity case to other people. Um, I would love to know the timing on this. Oh, here we go. They have prepared 13 days out of the 14 needed. Oh. Right. Hold on then. That's the kind of information that I require. Okay, so if we push here and we push with these two there. I don't think he's going to have any effect there, is he? No, he's not. So let's not do that. Uh, what? What? How the hell does that happen? Seriously? We need to... Well, we can't do a lot about that, actually. Come on, Japan, your troops are there. Just get in. If I try and attack them, that's not going to make no difference there. What kind of troops are we looking at there? There's one on one. He's moving where? Is he moving there? Because if they are, they're moving round. Uh, right. I can't take any more troops off that side. Because he's got a group of troops there, I suppose. Well, they're going to go into there, aren't they? So this is the weak spot. Okay, so we get our troops round here. And then we'll try and force a breakthrough. Uh, anyway, hope your weekend's going well. Um, I hope you're not battling the Japanese. And, well, let's face it, we are Japanese. We are battling our overlord here. No, attacking there is not doing any favours for us at all because they've just reinforced that particular unit that was there. So we will stop and stop. Uh, we're defending there, so that's not too bad, I suppose. But if they want to get down to zero, yeah, I'm happy to actually push them back at that point. And that could actually come in a bit. If they lose their organisation there... No, there's three units there now. They're defending there, so can't really affect that one. Okay, yeah, we're defensive-minded. Just keep on reminding me. Defense, defense, defense. Okay, so... Did we... What happened there? Uh, do you know, I can't remember now. One of the Japanese units was there, weren't it? So, did they get wiped out? Did they come back? Or... Hmm... They've only left one troop back up there, though, so that's a bad sign. Now, we're defending there, so... Okay. 
I uh, can't move those back up, not yet. But at least they are filling in the gaps there. Well, uh, what I say, but they've got three troops there, but they should be there, honestly. Yeah, we're back to five troops there again, because they've congealed at that point. Not a lot we can do about that up there, and I can see them breaking through at the top there. Okay, that's the fall of Warsaw, so that is Poland in trouble. And I think we can make a difference to that now, and we can definitely make a difference to that. We have a steady defence going on there, so that's good. So yeah, if we can break these attacks, we will do. Now they're going to have to attack over the river then, so that's, well, that's then their fault. Right. Are we not supporting that for some reason? Too sure why? Now, it would really make sense to actually push here now. We get the whole riverside then, don't we? Come on, Japan. Come on. Can I not do that? Do they move? Do they make an effort? Do they hell? No. Oh, Poland has capitulated. Oh dear. Well, again, that could be us soon. Okay, has this invasion started? Uh, no, that's just enemy troops we can see down there. Those troops are on the move though, because they've got an average organisation of 26%. So have they been and gone? Have we missed it? Damn it. I hope we haven't. German war, right, declared war on Luxembourg. So, France will be next. So, uh, well, we, we won't have enough points to actually do an attaché. Okay, that's Luxembourg down. Wow, they're pouring troops in there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to support that. 33, if it was in the 50s, maybe. I mean, cheek as it is, we could actually do this and just upset their balance completely here. Uh, they've seen that gap. They have seen the gap. Yep, okay. Right, we'll stop doing that because that's... Oh, well. Saying that. Yeah, I don't think we can support that. Get back. Come back. It was a good idea. I mean, if the Japanese want to take that one now, that would be a very good idea. And their push is on again, so that's good. Oh, what the hell. We leave our troops exposed, and this is what happens. They're, they just come in. They, they've made a major push there. And they've pushed us back there. Right, okay, there's not a lot we can actually do with that. Um, we may actually lose these troops here, because there's no way that I can actually get to them. If they're going to retreat, that's fine, but I'm going to get my troops out quite quick. Come on. Come on, stop giving me all these... Who the hell put that bloody unit there? Okay, stop that, because you've got more chance of actually getting out that way. Horse, oh, I can say horses on the production front. No, heroes on the fr production front. Okay, so we get a bit more stability, so that's good. But 
getting penalised for all these strikes is not so good. So all of the pollen wind must be true. Does not have national spirit strikes. Does not have national spirit widespread strikes and general strikes. Well, we've been addressing them, so I can't see how we're getting penalised here. I have been pressing the correct button. Well, what I believe is the correct button anyway. Uh, right, where are our troops down here? Because this is looking very precarious. I want you back. Move back. I want them to move. So if we can push them there, we can push them there and then corner these lot. Maybe? No. It's just defend, defend, defend. Look, I'm, I'm sure I asked for these guys to move back. Oh, I did, I did but it was a different area, weren't it? Okay, can we push in there now? Nope. Well, it'd be nice if the Japanese actually saw what I can see. Because that would be a very good manoeuvre. Okay, have we got an invasion going on down south? They are moving in there. That's it, get behind their lines. I wish you'd actually done it there. Oh, they are. Right, okay. We won't moan too much then. Oh, well, I will. I'll mo I will moan a hell of a lot because... Yeah, come on. Have you not got out of that little entrapment yet? So let's let them get their organization back by moving further back. If they're doing an invasion down south to the detriment of actually keeping forces back here, well, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I got it on uh, pause again. I do apologize. Right, no, just hold it one second because I think we can make a move back in there. But it doesn't help because we've got all this here. So they're still making inroads. The Chinese are still attacking. value there I mean seriously what are they doing with their troops I mean the 9-1 combination and it's only got like six or seven attack yeah okay that didn't last long did it that's a shame can we not get anybody back in there to just stop them no but maybe the attack, we can do a counter-attack and push it back. Might work. No, we are failing across the board, aren't we? Okay. Okay, let's just hold them there. Don't attack now. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we have a tech slot, so let's just hold our horses because they're not in combat. Let's go for, because we're still short of steel, so we can get 10% out of our steel production, which is 59, yeah, so that'll be 5.9, won't it? So, yeah, okay. My god, they have pushed really well there. And what's happened to this invasion down here? It's done nothing. It's gone nowhere. 
Okay, all donations gratefully received. If you can send $5 now, your $5 will go towards helping me create a better overlord. Really, seriously. Okay, so we've got we've got our expander shower steel work. So we've got two extra factories. Uh, although we've they're probably being kind of just misused at the moment because. I don't know whether we've still got that strikes going on. We haven't got the strikes going on, so they're back on construction. Oh, that's not too bad, I suppose, then. Okay. Yet we do need another military factory. We still have the deficits. So we're producing, what, 18 per day? Oh, but that 18 per day is actually a minus 10. Okay. Uh, right, okay, where are we? We are there. I don't really want to be there because I keep on losing track of where I am. Right, we are defending up there. Come on, Japan, put some bloody effort into it. We're doing our bit. Right, we need to go on and push their counterattacks back. Come on, can you not do that? Don't play their game, play ours. Um, ugh, get out of the way. I'm sh I didn't select that, I selected ours. And now the attack's over, so you ruined that. Okay, um, we've got anything in infantry wise. That's 0.15 years ahead but it's infantry we need it we need more defense we need breakthrough we need everything that we can think of um, I don't think we're gonna be at a Porsche six divisions there are we no okay so however we could support that if it's close enough it's not allowing me to it's not close enough See, they're attacking, and that's just stupid. Maybe I've embarrassed um, our overlord. Maybe our early gains and kind of 7%. Obviously, we're up to 8% now, so 110 bombing. Maybe that is an embarrassment factor to the Japanese, and they think, no, 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 we're not having that. Yeah. Don't you worry, mate. We can't sustain it. Not at this pace. Um, can we not do that one? That's a bit better. So they have moved some troops around there. Let's see if we can support that. We can. Okay. Again, that's a bit better. And then it goes into the red. Can I not support that? I can now. Right, how we doing? How we doing? So that's one unit there now. So how in the big total scheme of things are we doing? The Japanese have lost 1.5 million men. <sighs> unreal. Absolutely unreal. The total Chinese front have only lost 1.33. <sighs> what the hell? I am strapped to a dead corpse. Right. Let's get in there, because we might be able to support that. Now, how are they doing? Are they actually putting troops in every single area? Because they should be. Watching the Japanese do a naval invasion down south is all well and good, but if they're not going to have troops that are actually on the line, then it's all for naught. 
Okay, um... I don't know whether we can actually push back there. No, we can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we get to a defensive position there, we might be able to stomp that one. Oh, that's Denmark that's capitulated. It is November 1939, so Denmark has capitulated, so this is really historical and uh, historical focuses are on, however. Okay, can we now push in? Nope. Well, they're defending on that, aren't they? Well, it's gone green, so... <laughs> and we are still defending. Now what? Now what? France has capitulated. Okay, oh right, oh right, okay. So France has capitulated. So we may be... If we can just have a look on the French bit, I'll then profile in a second or two. Currently I am busy. Um, yeah, we've been pushed out of there. How are we doing up here? So we did actually take that one back. So maybe we can push that one back on the return. Mm, maybe. Let's have a look. How are we doing on time? We are very close to the end of the episode. We're very close to the end of the Japanese Empire, uh, as it stands. Uh, yeah, carry on defending like that, but we have the, all these provinces now with, around us that we have to defend against. So if we're not careful, we're going to get cut off. Uh, right, okay. So there should be an action here for Vichy France, but maybe that won't happen. Because Italy actually made an impact. Uh, maybe. Uh, when am I going? Where am I going? Tell me the Japanese haven't got... Oh, they have. They've got bloody island units. Yeah, that's really helpful at this stage, isn't it? Really, really helpful. I'm right into my MP. It's no good. Okay, can... We better not be attacking there. Why are we attacking there? And we're attacking there for some goddamn reason. Stop doing that. You're wasting my bloody rifles. Right, where are we here? No, they've put more troops in there, so we got pushed back. We are defending well, though. And it looks as if the French, French situation is not going to happen. Or is it? Well, we've got a little timer going on there, but uh, yeah. Okay, well, I've no idea what's going on with France at the moment. We let's pause so it is the first of december that's a very good date to actually end on uh end the episode on let's uh, well there's no france to actually free france it's not going to make any difference is it so i can't do a send attachy to that because they're still the allies um yeah that is not good for the united kingdom in italy oh dear whoops This is all historical. It has to be. Uh, no, no, keep on pressing the wrong one. Oh, they can't spare any rifles. Well, they've just got all these French factories. Can we not just ask for some rifles now? I mean, it says that acceptance not required on the other one, but if I send that, what what's going to happen? Let's just have a quick look. No, it's declined by the German Reich. Okay, so. Well, you saw it. We've been denied arms. Um, I mean, we we will put them to a good use. Sure. But that'll have to be in the next episode. So, hope you can join me for that one. Hope you've liked this one. Uh, yeah, we're in a precarious position. And 
our ally, our overlord, has still not made any significant effort here. Has he got another plan going on? It's not telling me anything apart from no. It's just units assigned to that order. So we will have to find out in the next episode. Uh, we may survive another episode. So there you go. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.